Bonine 52 with you. How are you folks? I am on my way to get my new mini apes for my 2018 Ultra Limited. Some LA choppers. They're only 10 inches, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. So taking it over and getting it done by a local guy. Check it out. Alrighty folks, back with you. I am on my way, as the intro said, to get my new mini apes handlebars put on my motorcycle, my 2018 Ultra Limit. I'm having a local guy do it. I did a video on this um, about three or four weeks ago. I'll leave that in the description if you want to check it out. As you can see, um, here is where my position of my current stock bars are. And uh, I did just come back from a trip, the West Virginia Motor Vlogger Meetup, where we drove about 750, 800 miles. Now, it was broken up, um, but I will say that I did not, did not feel any discomfort in my back or anything else. I do use a uh, rider's backrest. But did not feel any discomfort at all uh, driving down there, or riding down there. But, again, um, really wasn't a long haul. I mean, I think the biggest down there was maybe 300 miles. So, But I am looking forward to getting these put on by the local guy. And um, who's doing it at about half the price of the dealership, by the way. We'll see how it goes. I've sat on a few bikes and I really do like the position that it puts you in. I think it makes you sit a little more upright. And um, I think it will ultimately be easier on the back as we continue to do some more touring. So I'm excited. Can you tell? I decided that I wanted to get um, these mini apes put on. And I've been really doing a lot of research on them. Checking out different bikes. Seeing what I really wanted. Ended up with LA Choppers. And, um, and decided that I did not want to take the task on doing it myself. And I know I probably could have done that, but just from a time perspective, um, never, never done it before, so I don't, it didn't scare me that much, but wanted to make sure I got it done by somebody. So I took it to the Harley, or went over to the Harley place. Uh, you know, I think they were like 400 bucks for the, um, for the, for the apes, and then... They wanted uh, like four or five hundred bucks to put them on. I mean, it was, it was total like eight hundred bucks. I'm not sure how it broke out. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I took it over to this local guy that I'm getting ready to go in here in a minute, and uh, he did the inspection on my uh, motorcycle when I first moved to Pennsylvania. I really haven't had him do uh, too much work um, yet. I did a little work on my 16 Street Glide Special, but this guy is very well known and used to be a a service manager at a Harley place, so I uh, feel really comfortable with him. He's been giving me some great ideas and not pushing me on things. And Needless to say, I said, so how much for the installation of them? And he's like, um, well, it'll take me about three hours, so let's say 180 bucks. I'm like, wow. So, just a good guy, right? So, regardless, we are here get these worked on. All right. The apes are on. 10 inch mini apes on my 2018 Ultra Limited. Wow. Man, do they feel good. I'll tell you what, it definitely sits you more upright. They are actually 10 inch Chromeworks apes. I had originally, so I'll tell you the story as I'm riding and kind of getting used to the handling. Um, I was getting LA choppers and they actually came and he put them on and then he called me 
and said, hey, why don't you come over and take a look at these things? I'd like you to sit on the bike. So I, um, I went over, and I'll tell you what, how they, the L.A. Choppers were made that I bought, or that we ordered, really were turned kind of in. And um, they weren't that much different than the originals. He's like, I knew you weren't going to like these. So he had a set of these in for another client. But his bike wasn't due to be back until next week. So he just ordered some for me. And needless to say, he put on the apes that he had for the other guy. And he'll, he'll flip them around. So he's put them on. I'll tell you what. I really... Uh, it seems good. I'm not sure how much you can tell on video, but the, um, you know, my arms are fully extended. I definitely feel like I'm sitting up more, um, which makes sense because I guess if you're down here, right? So I'm going to take a rip up the road and kind of get used to them and just kind of see what uh, see what I think about them. I'll, t I'll tell you what, they are right at the top of the fairing. don't feel like I'm getting any real wind from it. Maybe just a little bit. I actually like how the mirrors sit up a little bit differently um, now, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I haven't done any, uh, and I'll, I'll get up here to a place where I can, some slow maneuvers and, and uh, hard turns just to kind of get used to them a little bit. But I, I definitely like the look. Um, and from right now, it feels comfortable. Definitely comfortable. and. Man, I like them. I think I like the aesthetics better. I don't know. What do you folks think? Um, you know, I did not get the, the apes that kind of come up and then go over. Um, you know, I think they're cool looking. But I just uh, had a preference for keeping this kind of shape, if you will. And, and uh, glad I did because I like them. So, folks, I don't know if you've been thinking about uh, getting apes or not. I know Harley Day Rider shot me a note and said, how are they? And I said, hey, I'm getting out on it now. And I know he just took a big trip and he was having a little discomfort. So he's thinking about it as well. Um, I, I may have to make a little bit of a change. My favorite Ciro 3D phone mount, which is goes here, I actually took it off. Um, was going to sit kind of high for me. So I'm going to see if I can flip that thing around or I'll have to find a way to uh, to adjust a little bit. So if you didn't watch my original video, I got them put on by a local guy. McNerney Motors, I think is the name, and I'll, I'll leave a link to that. So if you happen to live in the uh, western PA area, he's actually in Butler, Pennsylvania. Really like this guy, 30 plus year Harley guy. And uh, service manager went out on his own, owned this business for seven or eight years. And just not only is his pricing good, he just has a fantastic reputation. And he really did a nice job. I mean, you know, when he put those original bars on that we looked at together, and, you know, at the end of the day, I said I was good with ordering them. And he just put the bike back together and gave it back to me. And, I'd have been like, no, that's no good. And he had to tear it apart again. And then you got, are you screwing around with who's paying for all that stuff? And instead he stopped, came over and again called me and said, come look. Not sure this is right. So I appreciated that. He also said that it was going to take him probably until Monday because, again, it was going to take a couple days to get him. Um, but since, he, again, he used a, a, a set he had in stock... Um, it really worked out. I like them so far, folks. I like them so far. I keep running, running up the road and make sure I get used to how the motorcycle turns, if any, different. I actually heard from a couple folks that have them that they think it's easier to, uh, to maneuver the motorcycle with the, uh, the mini apes on them. So, again, Chrome works. 10 inch mini apes and I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video in case you're looking in and are interested. Do a little testing to make sure the heaters are still working, heated grips. 
But yeah, you know, I think the one thing that is just a little bit um, amazing to me, and I guess it makes sense, is I definitely feel like I'm sitting more upright, which is good because, you know, I, I can tend to be a sloucher and um, you know I think it's you know I think it's just better for your for your back and all that and and your arms so makes you sit upright for sure. I'll tell you what, folks, if you have uh, if you have put apes on your motorcycle, let me know in the comment section what you put on. Especially for other brothers and sisters that may be looking, and how do you like them? And, and it really doesn't feel like it's going to take that much getting used to at all. Um, but it's definitely different because I'm extended, as you can see with uh, with both arms. So take a little rip into this little gas station here to do a to turn with them, just to see how it feels. Wow. Okay, guys, I got to tell you what. It feels a ton better. Wow. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Somebody will let me know in the comments, but... Boy, it seems a lot easier to, uh, to turn the motorcycle. Ha-ha. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I am happy with these so far. I just love the position. Again, it looked like the ability to to make some sharper turns, at least back there and coming out of the the shop there was really, really good. So Alright folks, hey look, I won't keep you. I appreciate you uh, checking in on my channel and I will tell you my initial feedback is this is a, uh, a good investment from my perspective. I will tell you that the, uh, the apes were only about $240 um, and labor was about $180. So $420 and some tax maybe $450-ish. I had him do an inspection while he had it. but. Um, I know getting it done at the dealership was seven or eight hundred, and at the end of the day, if you uh, can't or don't want to do it yourself, which I did not want to, um, tell you what, there's other options out there other than the dealer for sure. So, thanks for checking in on the channel. If you have uh, not been on before, and uh, feel free to subscribe. We do a lot of motor vlog vlogging, gear stuff, riding with my bride, and love to have you uh, into the family and uh, check out some videos. So that's it for Bodine 52. Thanks for checking in with me. Be safe on and off the motorcycle. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, folks.